real depth and a uh, apparent depth. If this is water, okay, this is water and this is air, usually an observer will find that what his the depth that he see uh, that he observe will be the depth, okay, the depth, the apparent depth. The apparent depth is the depth that he he see uh, or he perceive. He see or he perceive, but it's called the apparent depth. Is always less than the actual depth. The actual depth is called the real depth. Okay. So what you see is called the apparent depth, and the actual depth is called the real depth. And you will always find that the apparent depth is uh, less than the real depth. The reason is, uh, let's say we take this point. Okay. The light from this point it move to the this uh, this uh, water surface. Okay. And it move from denser to less dense medium. And therefore, it is reflected away from the normal, okay, away from the normal. And this one, the light is also okay, move away from the normal. But the observer, okay, the observer always assume that light ray move in a straight line. So he always assume that the light ray come from here, straight line, eh? okay. If it's straight line, then it's come from here. So when he see light rays, okay, hey, this light ray must come from here because all light move in a straight line. So then, so he found that this point. Is located here. Uh, it's located here. So from all other points, also the same. Okay. So then he, then he, uh, the observer will always assume that. Okay. Yeah. So this surface is here. Okay. That's what he see. Okay. And then he found that the depth is this one. This is the apparent depth. So that is what we call the real depth and the apparent depth. Uh, apparent depth is what you see, and real depth is the actual depth. Uh. And then, so we can use this uh, real depth, apparent depth to find our refractive index, and it's given by this formula. The, the the refractive index is equal to the capital letter D. This is the real depth divided by the uh, apparent depth. The real depth divided by the apparent depth. Okay. So this is another formula that we can use to find the refractive index. Example six: the depth of water of a pool is 2.0 meter. So this is a real depth. Huh? This is a real depth. So the depth is equal to 2.0 meter. This is the actual depth. What is the apparent depth? Okay, they want us to find the apparent depth. If the refractive index n equal to 1.33. So we can use the formula n equal to capital letter D divided by smaller letter D. And uh, this is equal to 2.0. This one we don't know. And the refractive index is 1.33. So therefore, my apparent depth is uh, 2.0 divided by 1.33. Uh, 2 divided by 1.33, yeah? 1.50. 1 1.50. 1 1.50. 1 so this is the uh, apparent depth. Okay. Now, apparent depth is always less than the real depth. Huh? The real depth is equal to 2, then the apparent depth is 1.5. If you found your apparent depth, uh, more than the real depth, then it must be something wrong. Okay, you must take the units as well. So that is uh, example six. A two meter thick glass block. Okay, so we have a glass block. We have a glass block. The thickness of the glass block is 2 cm, 2.0 cm. And then there's a newspaper here. Okay, and the observer found that the newspaper is around here. So this is the apparent depth. Apparent depth. Huh? As an observer, you will find that the, the the text in the newspaper is a little bit higher than the actual precisions of the newspaper. So means the thickness, the thickness of the glass will be the real depth. Okay? The thickness of the glass block will be the real depth. So the real depth D equal to 2.0 cm. It's placed on newspaper. If the refractive index of glass is 1.5, find the apparent distance between the text on the the text on the newspapers at the top of the glass. So they want you the, the text, uh, apparent positions of the text and the top of the glass. So it means they want the apparent depth. So the given is that the refractive index n equal to 1.5 and they want us to find the apparent depth. Uh, okay. So again we use a formula n equal to real depth over apparent depth. And the real depth is 2.0, apparent depth, we don't know, and refractive index is 1.5. So therefore, uh, D equal to 2.0 divided by 1.5. This is equal to 1.33. Yeah? Uh, 
uh, cm. Okay, because we use cm here, so this must also be cm. So we have learned a uh, refractive index. Okay, refractive index, and then we have three formula to find refractive index. The first one is from Snell's law. Right? Snell's law, sine i over sine r equal to constant, and that constant is called the refractive index. Uh, the second one is from the speed of light, speed of light in vacuum divided by speed of light in the medium. Okay, that is also equal to refractive index. And the last one is from a real depth over apparent depth. Huh? Okay, and this is equal to the refractive index. So these are the three formulas that we can use to find refractive index. Huh?